child's play. Jeff Spillers. Thanks, Max. Thanks, everybody. Hi, welcome to Child's Play. This is the show where children define words in their own words, which the adults have got to try to guess. You know, when you get a little bit older, sort of, you start to like girls, and if you're a girl, you start to like boys. But when you're 10 years old, you're not too keen, you know? And here's Todd Moore. He's giving a description. He's 10 years old. When you're 10, you're not too keen on the word or the person girlfriend. Todd? Mm. It likes you a lot. And it... And... You can, and she might want to get married with you. And she, and if you do get married, she can do all the work in the house. <laughs> and, you know, and you can be lazy. It's a good description, Todd. All right, our contestant is playing for $250 in the first part of the show, and then our winning contestant can play for $1,000 in cash when all the kids come on out to help us out. So let's say hello to our contestants, everybody. Please welcome Heather Fairley and Suzanne Gabriel. Hi, Heather. Hi, Suzanne. Hi. Heather, you're our champ now for two weeks. This is your third week. Mm. You're really on a roll. And your fiancé, uh, Ian, mm -hmm. he's pretty happy, huh? He certainly is. He oh. keeps asking me for a loan. Does he? Yeah. Well, if you stay with this boy or boy for another week or so, you'll really be, uh, the wedding bells will really start to chime. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Good. Well, have fun again today. Thank you. All right. And Suzanne, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Wollongong, and I'm a travel consultant, and uh, I like making my own clothes, and I've done a bit of abseiling. And... Abseiling, isn't it, Suzanne? How do you do that? Is the first time the worst, or after that even gets more worse? The hardest part is going over the edge. The first time? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. I didn't think I could either. No. Okay. Well, I hope today's show is uh, less scary than that. Mm. Have fun. Okay? Yeah. Heather, we're starting up with you. The first clue's coming to you now from Amelia Kelly, who's 10 years old. Amelia. It's when they get together and they have a meeting and they discuss their problems and what, what they could do about it, but they couldn't be bothered, sort of. And they don't really want to go ahead with the war, but they they think it's it's got to be done, and they just thought they should come together and discuss it first. Yeah. Good description. What do you think we're looking for, Heather? Uh, a board meeting. No. That was a good guess, given what you were given. Now, we're looking for the same word, Suzanne, so uh, this is the next clue coming from Matthew Reeves, who's 11 years old. Matthew. The headquarters are in New York. Um, people go there from all different countries. Uh, we have a representative... We have a rent... We have a rent... representative in Australia. Um, they... To go there and they dis discuss problems and the people who go there are, are very important. <laughs> Good on you, Matthew. It's hard to get your mouth around it sometimes. What do you think we're looking for, Suzanne? The White House? <laughs> no, so uh, we're still looking for the same words, Heather. Comes back to you. This is Andrew Martin, who's 10 years old. Andrew. Almost all the countries, I think almost all the countries are in it. Most of them are anyway. And it's about peace, and their headquarters are in New York. That's our final clue. What do you think we're looking for? NATO? <laughs> we're looking for United Nations. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, that's our first bit of the show. So join us right after this for more Charles Poe. We'll be back in a minute. A lot more than you think. Play. Our champ and our challenge is still yet to score, but I think we'll get off the mark here, Susan. You start first, and this is coming to you from Matthew, S Matthew Stapleton, who's 11 years old. Matthew. Well, one is when you chuck away things and you don't put them in the bin. Suzanne. Literally? Yeah, you got it in one, so you're off the mark. Oh, we had another couple of keys. I know that was good. So you're on one. Heather, we now start with you. This has come from Paul Sewell, who's 11 years old. Paul. 
All kinds of animals can use this, even insects. Ants need them, ducks need them, birds need them, even animals need them. Yeah. What do you think you're looking for, Heather? Water? No, we're still looking for the same word, Suzanne, so think of those clues. This is company now from Melissa Thorne, who's six years old. Hi, Melissa. It's in behind the leaves, and, and it can break easily, and it's very spiky in some places, and, and it's dirty when you pick it up. Your hands get very dirty. Thanks, Melissa. What do you think we're looking for, Suzanne? A potato? <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, this is the next clue. The last clue on this comes back to you, Heather. This is from Amanda Langley, who's seven and a half. Amanda. Birds live in it, and... Um, if it rains sometimes, birds um, stand on the edges and jump in. <laughs> and um, mothers lay, mother birds lay eggs in it, and um, they hatch. What do you think we're looking for, Heather? Uh, nest. Yeah. All right, we're in Stevens at the moment. Got one apiece. Okay, this is the next one. We're starting up with you, Suzanne. This comes from Kate Minogue, who's 12 years old. Kate. Um, you can have these if you're a both a male or a female, but mostly they're if you're a female. And they... You can be grown up or you can be young, but mostly you're grown up. Not necessarily. <laughs> Not necessarily. Suzanne, what do you think we're looking for? A car? No. It's a, it's a good guess. Comes back to you now, Heather. Still looking for the same word. This is from Chrysanth, his aunt Tonus, who's 11 years old. Chrysanth. Oh, well, girls like, like them a lot, and they try to hide him, so no one will start getting up to them and everything. And they go out, out to movies a lot, and they go out and they like to hide behind trees. <laughs> um, they've got short hair, and after a while, they like to marry them. <laughs> oh, they like to hide behind trees. Boy, what do you think we're looking for there? A uh, boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe then you'll get to marry them. Okay, well, you got that right. You're on two points, Heather. But we've got another great one here on Boyfriend, which I'd like you to see. This is from Ramona Rudson, who's nine years old, and she's describing a boyfriend. Ramona. Well, if a girl, not me. <laughs> well, if a girl, um, like, like the boy, and, but the boy doesn't exactly like the girl sometimes, um, she's like tagging onto him and he just goes, get off me, get off me. <laughs> and, um, um, and the girl, she, she just keeps on liking him, but he still, um, not really likes her. He thinks she's not her type and everything, not me. Um, <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Boy, Ramona, that sounds like, that sounds like it'll make a good movie, Ramona. Okay, join us right after this because at home everybody gets to play in a minute when we're going to play in fast play. See you in a minute. Bye. I just don't think there's a car on the road that gives you a better value for money. the chance at home for everybody to play along in fast play because we won't be seeing the word at the bottom of the screen anymore. Our contestants here for every word that you get right, you get two points for a correct answer. If you get in with your buzzer and the answer you get is wrong, then we show the rest of the clues to the other contestant, okay? We keep on playing till we hear the sound. 
That's a good sound, isn't it? Okay, so you're all ready with your fingers to go on the buzzers? The first one coming up now from Karen Parkin, who's seven, nearly eight. Karen. Of course, he's kind, and he loves you all the time. Suzanne. Your mother? Yeah, that was a good, quick one. Okay, you're on three, going to the lead by one. Here's the next one from Jason Ford, who's eight. Jason. Rides people in the night. Suzanne. Lights. Mm, I'll have to give the rest of the clues. No, this comes over to you now, Heather. So listen to the rest of the clues coming from Jason. I mean ships in the night. And... And it also guides you the ships if it's in danger. And it has a yellow light and it has many stairs going down. And it's on the rocks. Um, and if ships and if ships can't find their way, this this special house will um, shine the light on it. Heather, what do you think we're looking for? A lighthouse? Yeah. Another two points for you. Here's the next one from Daniel Bender, who's six. Danielle. Mm. It's brown. <laughs> Tail brown. Legs brown. Suzanne. Huh? <laughs> no, there's just a little bit left, Heather. You'll hear this. The rest of it coming from Danielle. Brown. And it goes, woof, woof. <laughs> Ever heard a ho horse go woof woof? <laughs> Heather, what are you looking for? A dog? Yeah, another two points for you. Okay, the next one from Rochelle Jones, who's eight years old. Rochelle. Makes things nice and shiny. And on other things, it covers up where it has been scratched. Heather. Polish? Yeah. It's time to go ahead, Aiden. Come on, Suzanne. Get on in there. Here's the next one from Adrian Zanelli, who's six. Adrian. It's black. It squeezes you when it wants to kill you. <laughs> and it's like a gigantic monkey. Heather. A gorilla? Yeah, boy, you're getting that winning way again. Come on, Suzanne. The next one now from Tony Lee, who's 11 years old. Tony? Um, it's a form of energy, and we need it for our cars to run. Suzanne. Petrol. <coughs> no, the rest of the clues come back to you now, Heather. This is from Tony Lee. Tony. Used to run. In Bass Strait, people drill for it on rigs. Most of its waste has been found in rivers, and it's black and runny. Heather, what do you think we're looking for? Oil? Yeah. Bad luck, Suzanne, because petrol is like the cars, isn't it? Okay, the next one from Kelly Street from seven and three quarters. Kelly. It's got skin on it. Most people have two of them. They've got pointy things on the end of them. On the end of the pointy things, they've got... It feels like plastic, and, it, and the plastic bits can be long or short. Suzanne. Ham. Yeah. Get on here, Suzanne. Another two points for you. All right, here's the next one from Wayne DeBellin, who's eight years old. Wayne. She's got two big round ears, a little shiny nose, a big smile. Heather. Koala bear. Oh, the rest of the clues we're going to use, Suzanne. Sit back and relax. This is Wayne DeBellin. Wayne. Smile. He's in... He's... His friend is a dog, he makes lots of children happy, and his girlfriend's name is Minnie. Suzanne, what are we looking for? Mickey. Mickey Mouse, yeah, another two points. You're seven, come on, still one way to go. Amanda Fuses, who's 11. Amanda. If I grow in the sea, you wash with me, and if I grow... Heather. A sponge? Yeah, another two points for you. All right, here's the next one from Troy Henderson, who's seven years old. Troy. Uh, well, all it is is pink sugar that's flopped. Heather. Very flopped. Yeah, another point. Another two points for you. Boy, you're getting away there. Here's the next one from Rachel Scott, who's ten years old. Rachel. Um, it's a very, very painful feeling, and you might get this feeling when you hurt yourself very, very badly. Heather. 
So you get the rest of the clues, Suzanne. This is coming from Rachel Scott. Rachel? Um, <laughs> like, you wouldn't get the feeling when... Well, you, you could get the feeling when you broke your leg, but you would be in pain a lot. We'd be in pain a lot. What are we looking for, Suzanne? Uh, grief. Close. Yeah. We're looking for agony. Agony. Okay, the next one from Rachel McLennan. Raquel McLennan. Seven and three quarters. It tells you what's going to happen in the day. And it tells you about what happens to people. And it's black and white and red all over. Yeah. <laughs> Any takers? Suzanne. Newspaper? Yeah, another oh. two points for you. Good on you. Oh, it's our time. Evan, you're our winner again. Come on over. Congratulations. Come on over. Yeah. Woo. You've done it again. Boil, 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 boil. This is the third week. You're really on a roll, aren't you? Oh. Suzanne, you get... I think she's the quickest buzzer we've ever found. <laughs> but anyway, you get a great prize. What's that, Max? It's the stylish 14-inch color TV, Jeff, featuring the superior Trinitron picture tube and a front-of-set connector for video games or home computers. Just press the hit button, it's that easy, or back to your favorite show. No more messy fiddling at the back of the set. The trend-setting KB1430. Yours with the compliments of Child's Play and Sony. Thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. Hey, do you know how much you've won now? $1,250. Oh, good. For having all that fun. All right, here come all the kids to play turnabout with us, where now it's going to be your turn to describe everything to the kids. So join us right after this, everybody, for more Child's Play. How do I know? I'm an asthmatic. Please, don't dice with asthma. You're our quickest buzzer. You know, you picked up $1,250 so far, and for every word now that you get right on turnabout, you pick up another $50. If you get the seven words within 45 seconds, you pick up $1,000 in cash. And I want you to do that. Yeah, okay. All right. So now, also, if you're playing with us one more time and you're with us next, next week, you're going to pick up this fantastic prize. For each contestant who plays four turnabout games in a row, the ultimate video center. The fabulous Profield Trinitron monitor with superior picture technology, together with the SLC35 front loading infrared remote Betamax video recorder, with exclusive skip scan in this great state of the art combination, with the compliments of Child's Play and Sony. All right, and that's what you can win next week. All right, let's meet the kids, everybody. Introduce yourselves from the left. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I, I'm 11 years old and I come from Taramara. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm 11 years old and I come from Borkham Hills. Good on you, Mark. Hi, I'm Amanda and I'm 11 and I come from Bellevue Hill. Hi, Amanda. Hi, I'm Tim Rodman and I come from French's Forest and I'm 10. Good on you, Tim. Fiona Baker, I'm 10 and I come from Wurunga. Good on you, Fiona. Do you guys know that, that Heather is engaged to get married? Mm -hmm. You know that? What do you think would be a good age to get married? Oh, 62. <laughs> <laughs> now at 100, you've got to keep old. <laughs> Uh, that's 62 by then you know who to marry. I think that's the best <laughs> advice you could give anybody, Mark. That's a real good one. You're not married, are you, Amanda? Not yet. <laughs> You're thinking about it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good luck with the show. What you've got to do now, if you get uh, a word right here, you share $50 in a savings account. And if you get the seven within the 45 seconds, then you share $1,000 in a savings account. Yeah. Wouldn't that be good? Okay? Then you'd be able to get married and uh, <laughs> real quick, all right? So concentrate real hard because we really want you to win this. Okay, Heather, good luck. And your time starts now. It's got four legs. It barks. It's your pet. Dog. One. Uh, you sit there, it's square. You sit in front of it and watch it. Um, television. Two. When you're feeling really off. And you've got to... Three. Uh, you do it snow. Uh, Skiing. Right. Four. When you're itchy, you do it. Scratch. Five. Uh, you wear them. Ring. Six. One more. At the end, 25th of December, every year. Christmas. Wow! <laughs> Thank you.
headphone sound that must be heard to be believed. <laughs> the fantastic Super Walkman, compliments of Child's Play and Sony. And every pre-recorded child receives this easy-to-use electronic calculator from Casio. The Casio HL809, compliments of specialty enterprises. International travel courtesy of Malaysian Airline System. Major prizes supplied by Sony.